So the Canadian tyrants are having a little problem. A tiny, minuscule amount of truckers are doing some form of convoy. I think it's about Justin Trudeau not allowing the unvaccinated to do blackface until they're fully boosted or something. Which has Canada's favourite pastime. That obviously riled some people up. Let's just go with that joke reason to appease the YouTube god. You all know why they're doing it. I don't have to explain it. Anyway, this absolutely tiny amount of truckers, probably less than one person in the convoy in reality, has managed to completely shut down the capital of Canada, Ottawa and many, many miles outside it. Pretty impressive for a tiny amount of people. So this convoy was so small that Captain Blackface himself, Fidel Castro, oh sorry, his son, Justin Trudeau, at first had to coincidentally contract COVID to avoid talking to the press about it. It's weird how this keeps happening to politicians when things get a bit tough for them, isn't it? We've got a guy called Keir Starmer who leads the left in the UK and he's contracted COVID six times, each time after he's made a fool of himself. But I'm sure it's a coincidence. And then this convoy got progressively tinier and tinier. And then because he's a stunning and brave trans woman, Justin Blackface ran away like a pussy to a bunker because despite there being no chance of anyone doing anything to him, they're just peacefully protesting. Unlike some other protests that are in recent memory, Justin decided to pretend all the tiny amount of truckers were racist because anything a fascist leftist doesn't like, they call it racist. Which is pretty ironic, seeing if they were all racist, they'd be hailing Mr. Trudeau as their king, as he is the most racist person in Canada, possibly the world, by a long way. But now there's almost no truckers in Canada's capital, the Prime Minister has run away to do blackface in a cupboard while crying. What is actually happening here? It's going pretty hilariously. Listen to what the whole of Ottawa sounds like right now. <laughs> So to normal people, you're on the side of the truckers because of course you are. No one likes authoritarianism and Trudeau is someone who very clearly idolises Hitler and uses his playbook. So any fight back against him is great. But if you are a communist who simps for the government stripping you of your rights, you're going to have a bad time and social media is full to bursting of these pathetic subhumans literally shaking and crying right now. Here's one saying, I'm standing out of London drugs crying and having a massive panic attack because of a fucking white supremacist freedom fighters driving by and honking their horns and waving flags who have no idea what real oppression even looks like. I think if you are threatened with not being able to feed your family if you don't comply with the government's whims, yeah, that's oppression. Those leftist tears and pain is so beautiful. Here's a redditor taking some time away from committing sex crimes to say, my mental health can't take this any longer. I almost threw up from the constant honking at my office. I want to fucking die. This is glorious. Here's another one saying, the amount of noise that these protesters are making in residential areas is obscene. I've been listening to the constant honking since the early morning. Yeah, I think you'll be fine, buddy. These people have been listening to the sound of papers, please, for over a year. It shows no signs of stopping. I'm beyond fed up with the tolerance attitude that the authorities are taking here. I bet this bootlicker would be giving hand jobs to all the protesters if they were burning his house down for George Floyd, though. These are the people who cheered on everyone burning down people's businesses and looting and murdering everything and everyone in sight over Black Lives Matter, and they're losing their minds over people sounding their horns. Who knew it was this easy to bring them to their knees? Anyway, if you want to laugh, just search honk or honking into Twitter and I imagine any social media platform tonight and you will see the most despicable people on the planet having a terrible time and crying about it. It's a beautiful sight to see. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, boy.